Draw bias drivers, which have been the highest performing draw bias drivers in 2021? We are about to find out. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm joined by Skylar Kessler. Skylar works off our sales team at Second Swing Minnetonka location. And today, Skylar, you're going to be testing draw bias drivers out. Yes, I am. Specifically the top four performing what we've seen in the fitting bay in 2021. So what I've noticed as you were kind of warming up a little bit is you have a nice club path that swings a little bit in to out. However, your face angle has been staying a little bit open. You've been missing a little to the right. Mm -hmm. So I just noticed that's been a little tense, the tendency when I've been filming with you a little bit. So we're going to try and solve that. And we're Perfect. going to see if technology is going to help us out. So I have picked out the top four performing draw bias drivers that we've noticed here in 2021. So those are, we'll start talking about them. The first type we're going to be testing is the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max D. You play a 10 and a half degree driver, right? I do. You do. So these are all going to be 10 and a half degree drivers as we're, as we're testing. So that's the first one we're going to be testing. We also got the Callaway Epic Max. So the nice thing with the Callaway Epic Max, it's not considered like a full on draw bias driver, but you can slide the weight all the way to the heel. It makes the center of gravity position a little bit more towards the heel. We're also going to throw in the mix the Cobra Rad Speed XD. XD stands for Hopefully extra draw, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, so we got that one on the mix. And then the, finally, we're also gonna be throwing the mix, the Ping SFT G425 driver. So these four, uh, what we consider probably the more draw bias drivers that we've seen successful in the fitting bay. And we're gonna test them all with the exact same golf shaft. So that way it's gonna be an unbiased test with, regard, with regards to golf shaft. So I've got you gonna be testing with the Adola Envy Green 55 regular shaft. I know you play a regular shaft in your driver, right? I do. So this one's 45 inches in length. Okay. So we'll test that. We'll use our all fit system so we can test the exact same uh, golf shaft in all the heads. Are you ready to hit some shots? Let's do it. All right. Okay, Skylar, first up we're going to be hitting the Callaway Epic Max. I'll give you this here. What we'll do is we'll hit like five shots with each driver and we'll take a look at the numbers and see if we're seeing any general trends. Perfect. Pretty straight. Really straight drive. Didn't quite catch it in the middle of the face, but it was nice and straight. Huh. And that's generally what we're seeing is your little tendency, right? Is just you just generally leave that mm -hmm. face just a little bit open as you as you miss it. That almost struck well. That felt better. Look at that tiny little draw there. I don't see that very often. Your face angle was negative 0 0.3. Oh, it's closed by 0.3 of a degree. It's good. That was struck well too. That was a lot of bull speed. Nice. Very good. Mm. Pretty good. That one maybe wasn't hit as, as solid as the last couple, but you definitely hit a couple of good shots. Let's take a look here at the numbers. So you had this one over here, you left the face angle open. And if we take a look at these numbers, you can get the general idea is your misses when you leave that face angle quite a, quite a bit open. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a little bit of user error on that shot. So I'm gonna take that one out. We'll talk about these other four shots here. Um, so we'll notice that you were hitting this a, about just a little over 200 yards, 208 yards. Um, best couple were 219 and 224. Pretty good numbers, nice launch angle, nice spin rate there. Um, pretty good start for the Callaway driver. Uh, how did that driver feel? How did it look? Have you ever hit with that club before? I have hit a similar model to the Max. I haven't hit the Max specifically. I remember this. Act. I remember this yes. story actually. The uh, the Epic Max LS. Yes. Somehow found its way into your bag for only like a week. Right. Not even a week. <laughs> but I I did hit that. Um, I like the feeling of it. I can definitely feel that. I don't have to work as much with it. If that makes sense. I don't yep. have to really focus on 
turning my hands over and slowing my hips down and things like that. So that was nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I performed pretty well. I, I like the fact you're able to turn it over there a couple of times because mm -hmm. I definitely didn't see that as you were warming up. Mm -hmm. So it was a good, good start. Okay, so let's move on next. Let's go to the Ping G425 SFT. Well, it might be just a little bit to the right again. Oh. Didn't miss it. Huh. It's a little, little low on that sh that shot. One's got a little ball speed to it. Nice, tiny little, just just a tiny little bit of drawer on that on that shot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me about uh, the Ping G425. Did you notice anything different with that particular driver versus, say, the the Callaway at all? Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, with this one, I don't feel like I get as much feedback than the Callaway that I do notice, I mean, even just the numbers show, I don't feel like I'm getting as much distance. Yep. With the ping, um, I feel like even like then I have to work a little harder to get it closed than I did with the Callaway. Just feedback I don't think was as much. Okay, yeah, it's actually really interesting. We take a look at the ball speed compared to the two of them. The exact same ball speed. Huh. 120.6, 120.6. You were swinging the ping just a little faster than the, than the Callaway. The ping was launching a little higher and spinning just a little bit more. And I think that's a little bit to do with these three over here, over there to the to the right side. That's uh, now we only have four shots up with the with the Callaway. So let's get rid of that particular shot there, and let's see if that helps out with the numbers a little bit. But even still. You can see that obviously the white dispersion circle was just a little bit further there to the to the left side. It brings the launch and spin down just a touch. But as you mentioned, yeah, you were hitting the the Callaway a little bit further, mm -hmm. and it was also drawing just a little bit more for you there too. Um, take a look at the numbers with the Callaway. You on average your face angle was almost square, while the the ping it was just staying a little little bit open. But now keep in mind this is going to be different for everybody. Mm -hmm. That's why it's important for everybody to you know, test the clubs out before you do purchase them and, and go for a fitting. We'll just notice here with the, with the ping, you just said you weren't getting as much feedback. Mm -hmm. And we just noticed that face angle was just staying just a little bit more open with that particular model. Yeah, but good stuff there. Um, that's next test, the Cobra Rad Speed. I know you mentioned to me, I've never hit that driver. I never have, no. Yeah, just that driver or Cobra in general? Cobra in general. Okay. I haven't. But All right, first out. time for everything. Yeah. Okay, Cobra Rad Speed XB. So you mentioned you XD, sorry, mentioned that you've uh, haven't hit this before. How does that look like at a dress? At a dress, I can definitely tell. I think it's. I don't think this has anything to do with the draw, but it's a little bit bigger of a club head. It's okay. more elongated. It looks like, um, just like initial look. But and what about the, the ping, coming back to the ping and the Callaway at address? Did you remember anything with those that stood out to you? Personally, I just like the way Callaway looks at address. Just the, honestly, just like cosmetically, I like the top okay. of what, how the Callaway looks. The, the ping turbulators, just a little too much for you or? Yes and no. It does throw me off just a little bit, but I don't think enough to affect really anything. Okay. But I think I like the Callaway the best, just okay. looking at it. A little more solid. I tried to slow it down a little. Well, that was pretty good numbers there for slowing it down. That one's a little more hit, more solid, a little higher ball speed on that one. Okay, let's take a look at the top four with this driver. 
Okay, so if we take a look at the, the averages here, we notice we lost a little bit of ball speed with mm -hmm. that club. Um, looked like you were losing a little bit of confidence with it. Tell me about that driver. Honestly, I'm not a fan. Um, I don't know what it was when it just came off the face. It felt dead, almost. Um, I mean, you can even see I've lost some distance with it. And it's majority to the right, I don't know. I did lose confidence after a couple shots and this was not working out. Yeah, I mean, your, your carry distance on average was, was up there. It was, you know, around the same distance, but it was spinning a little bit more. So if we move this back here to total distance, your furthest one was right here, and your furthest one with the ping was there, and you got a couple here more with the Callaway. It was just hanging out to the, to the right side a little bit for you. Um, face angle was just a little bit more open with that particular driver, and that's why it just was staying a little to the right. Yeah, and it's interesting, you actually, I know you, there was one swing you said, I, I feel like I need to slow my swing down a little bit just to feel like you could mm -hmm. hit a smooth one. I think that was actually this shot here, you slowed your swing I down. Think so, yeah. Uh, it was only 82.1 and you hit it pretty good, uh, but it, it was just a little off for you. And that's one mm -hmm. thing when you come in for a club fitting, there's going to be drivers that are off for players and are on for players. Not everyone's going to hit every driver perfect. Um, and that's when if in a club fitting, we'd probably skip all of this one and we'd probably move on to the next one and try and find thing, something that works visually better for you or mm -hmm. performs better with regards to numbers. Okay, finally, we're going to test the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max D. A little more ball speed there. Considering the face was left open on that particular shot, it actually performed pretty well. Mm -hmm. like it, the spin rate stayed down for even though that face angle was open seven degrees. Oof. Let's say, yeah, that one looked like it had a chance to turn over. Mm -hmm. I could definitely feel it. That one sounded good. Felt better. Like that. Wow, that's a straight ball. That felt really good. That thing had one foot of curve on it. That was, is that two inches left of center? It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, very good. Good. All right, pretty strong finish there with the TaylorMade driver. I notice, you know, a lot of shots here are over 200. It's actually gonna be hard for me to pick out an outlier. I mean, maybe that one there is the one where you first swing, you left the face open on it. Uh, let's take a look at your best four with each shot and take a look at the averages. Uh, one thing I did find interesting is the forgiveness you got with that TaylorMade driver. Because mm -hmm. you'll look here, your ball speed actually wasn't the fastest. We would notice it was, it was out there with regards to distance. I think on average, yeah, on average it was actually going the furthest. And that's because the spin rate was just a little bit less. I want to bring that up, because remember I mentioned you left that face open 7.2 degrees? Mm -hmm. What was really interesting, even with that face angle on that miss hit being open, the spin rate was only 3,200. So that was a good miss hit, even though you left the user area left the face angle open. But otherwise, we take a look at these other shots and see it performed pretty well. Um, it's pretty obvious that the Callaway Epic Max, we take a look at face angle and the, the Sim 2 Max, those two you were able to turn over a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the ping and the uh, Cobra kind of stayed over there to the, to the right side a little, little bit more. Um, so that's pretty obvious. Um, tell me what you thought of the TaylorMade driver. I think TaylorMade so far, I mean, out of all four, I like the feedback that I get the most out of it. Um, I just feel like I can get up there and swing. I don't have to really worry about my swing as much, if that makes sense. I know that the club's going to do some of the work for me, Yep. which is what I like about that. I definitely would say the TaylorMade and the Epic Max are my top two, but feedback wise, honestly, I would pick the TaylorMade. Got it. Yeah, I, uh, well, I think it just goes to show the consistency numbers. Uh, if you take a look here at this plus or minus number, it, it, it kind of won on the consistency. Not only did it carry the furthest and go the furthest, it consistently carried the furthest and went the furthest. Mm -hmm. You have one miss it here with, with the Callaway and you had a couple of good ones with the Callaway there too. 
But I think consistency-wise, you know, it always comes down to dispersion in this, in this circle. It was the straightest, which we do like. Um, and it was just nice and consistent. I like the ball flight. I always like to look at uh, landing angle and, and height. Um, so if we take a look here at the height you were hitting the right here, you can see that with the, with the ping, it was kind of like a little low cut. Um, just didn't hit it very well. With the Callaway, it was a little low draw. You can see the curve on average was 25 feet to the left. Um, and then we take a look here at the, the TaylorMade. The ending angle was 40. It's at the top end of what I would consider perfect. Generally speaking, 30 to 40 degree landing angle is great with a, with a driver. Mm -hmm. um, but the fact that the spin rate stayed down with a higher height and a higher landing angle is going to give you higher carry distance. And you see here a curve, and this is where it comes down to that, that draw biasness with each driver. And you can just see that the Callaway had an average curve actually to the left, and so did the TaylorMade. Mm -hmm. The other two were just average curve there over to the, to the right side with a little, little fade. So interesting stuff. Um, I think you know, what, we, what you notice today with you testing is the uh, TaylorMade was probably just not, it was probably just the winner here based mm -hmm. on um, distance. So total distance we can see here 209.6, carry distance to 189.7. Spin rate was also the lowest there as well. High launch, low spin is what you're after. And then also these plus minus numbers. The consistency numbers were really good with that particular driver. So interesting test. Um, there's a lot of draw bias drivers out there. Uh, one thing I didn't tell you that I did here as well, is I adjusted every driver up in loft just a little bit. So okay. I was trying to close the face just a little bit more for you. So I kept that consistent by one more degree, um, just to make it to a full max bi draw mm -hmm. bias club as, as we could. So we're really, you know, plus one is what we were testing them all at, um, which helped you to get the ball to turn over a little bit easier. If I kept it at 10 and a half, it might have stayed a little bit more to, to the right side there too. But just as a little kind of secret there. Um, part of our fitting process, we, hit, we test heads, and then we start playing optimizing stuff and test shafts and everything mm -hmm. like that. But this, this is the head test, and what we'll notice here is the, the Sim 2 was just snuck it out a little bit more ahead of the Callaway, and the other two were just a little bit behind. Do you have any uh, closing thoughts? I do not. I do like the Taylor made the best, but... All right. Well, that, that driver is the winner today for your, for your test. It's going to be different for every golfer, so keep that in mind. That's why it's important to come in into Second Swing to get a fitting. Uh, come on into any of our five stores or work with someone online. Also, bring your trades if you've got trades to bring in here too. And also, before you're done, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty of other great content like this. And let us know in the comment section what you've done to help correct your driver fade. Thank you.